We're just going to take you through some of the painting experiences we've had on the boat. The first one I told you that we were going to use this mini wax um, poly shades, it's called a satin one step finish. And so that's what I actually used on the top part of the hull. But it wasn't, it was just too shiny, it wasn't that satin look, didn't come through. So I've changed that and gone back to my original um, acrylic black and the same thing on the inside is acrylic white and when I went to the paint supply store I was very happy to find copper because the model I'm going to cover, the kit I'm going to cover in um, in paint and the scratch built boat I'm going to actually copper the bottom. I put the first coat on, sanded and we're just waiting on the filler to dry. And in terms of the filler I found this Elmer's wood filler and it comes in different colors although it's not necessary if you're painting but this is mahogany and I found it very good because it dries in about 15 minutes allowing me to sand fairly quickly. In terms of the application of the paint I'm really only using three paint brushes. One is a fairly big one um, that I use liberally when I'm putting on perhaps the bottom or the sides. As I get closer to areas that I want to be more careful I have a medium and then I have a very fine for painting parts that um, I want to be very careful that I don't get any spillage onto on either a piece of varnish or another color paint. As I've indicated in some of my other um, videos when I was actually doing the pre-painting of parts, I try to get um, three coats down when I'm using the acrylic paint with a sanding in between each one. For all the parts that I want to keep the wood um, in its natural finish, I've been using this uh, wipe on poly by Mini Wax. And it's really quite fantastic. You can pour it on if you want, like I do. Um, it's clear and it's a satin finish. And you simply put it on with a clean rag and you get a real even coat. It's really a fantastic product. And I'll put, oh, anywhere from three to five. Um, coats of this and have a very light sanding in between. And the beauty of this is you get no brush marks which are very visible to the naked eye on small parts. This is typical of the um, painting problems that we're going to have where you have a hull that's painted black, um, you have a deck that is natural and white, and then you have some trim boards, like this piece in the back here, that is also natural. And so the challenge comes between the black painted hair and on the side and the natural trim. And so the way you deal with that is to paint these off the model. We're using the Mini Wax Wipe On Poly and we'll put three coats on this. And we're just going to put a small amount of the black simply to illustrate the, the challenge that we need to establish this line here. I find these razor blades very useful for not letting the paint get where you don't want it. And I use a very fine paintbrush. So as you can see we've simply painted the parts 
where the different colors, the natural varnish piece and the black meat. And we've done the same thing on the varnish piece. And when we put them together, we won't have an issue. And here we have the mating of the two. And there are the fine lines that we were talking about. I know I have touched on painting the stringers on previous videos, but just wanted to go through um, to make this as comprehensive as possible to go through the details of some of the painting issues in relation to the model. There are five pieces that need to be pre-painted, um, which are the stringers that go up on either side and this little back piece. And if you look, I'm really painting the line of where the piece of molding, in this case, fits the stern molding, fits right down onto the deck boards. You don't need to paint the back because that will be painted when you're painting the stanchions. In the same thing with the stringers, you need to paint this edge here and pre bend it as much as possible so that when you put it in, the edge that touches down on the deck board is a nice clean line and of course even though I pre-painted these these are the clamps that I used and they have taken the paint off so I'll have to touch that up. Of course the other um, piece that has to be painted are the two bulwarks black on the outside white on the inside. Um, I painted the black now you'll paint the white when we've fitted the stringers and the stanchions and then completely painted white before we put the rail on the top, the gallant top rail. And not to forget the bowsprit. The bowsprit needs to be installed before the um, gallant top rail is put in place. So this needs to be fully painted um, to a finished part. Today we're going to establish the waterline on the model. So we have a few tools. First is something to mark the waterline, a stand, a caliper and of course the boat. We place the boat in this particular stand because it allows us easy access right around the entire ship, tighten it real tight. And then we take two critical measurements off of the plan. In my case, just where the keel joins is one of the measurements I'm going to take. The second one is on the stern, right on the rudder line. We've already balanced the boat and make sure that this point and this point are exactly in the correct space. And then we simply pull the line along the side of the boat, making sure that we don't rock the boat too much. That will establish the water line length. I have also used this caliper um, to help establish um, exactly where that line is on the model. Now we take the tape and put it to form the, line, the water line on the model. I 
think that's really all the major issues in terms of painting that we need to cover. There will be other parts, um, particularly a mast, uh, and as we come up to those pieces, we will let you know what the painting issues are. Um, so at this point in time, we're going to sign off and have another short film for a change. <laughs>